We are Nabil and Zanesta, and for the past few months, we have been slow traveling Southeast Asia with our four-year-old daughter. Seven months ago, we said goodbye to our life and jobs in Australia, bought a one-way ticket to explore the world, fulfilling our lifelong desire for a gap year. Something that we couldn't do in our 20s, we are now doing that in our late 30s with our child, an adult gap year. Our goal, simple, to attain personal freedom, freedom of time, money, and location. Our journey began in Malaysia, where we stayed for three months and so far it has been our favorite. Then we stayed for a couple of months in Thailand followed by a month in Bangladesh which was very special since it's our home country. Now we are in Vietnam for three months and started our journey with a week-long trip to northern Vietnam. This trip holds a special place in our heart as this experience wouldn't have been possible without our adult gap year allowing us to invite our family to share in this adventure. Without further delay let's dive into the first video of our four-part series of northern Vietnam. All right, so today is our second day in Vietnam. The first day was fully just on travel. Because we were in Bangladesh, there is no direct flight to Vietnam from Bangladesh. So we went from Bangladesh to Singapore. From Singapore, we went to Ho Chi Minh City. And then from Ho Chi Minh City, we took a domestic flight. So it was like a whole day and night of travel with your transits and everything. Once we got to Hanoi, like we were just so tired. We literally just ordered some food and then went to sleep. So today is the second day. Today we're waiting for Zanessa's family to come from Bangladesh. And we've got this six day tour of Northern Vietnam planned. So we're just waiting for them right now. I know that their plane has landed. So yeah, we're just waiting for them and then we'll start the trip. So see you. When you have Tom here, you don't need to worry about anything else because as a local, I'm gonna welcome you and I'm gonna take care for most of everything. Just ask questions. All right, so we are here today in the Museum of Literature. This is the oldest university here in Vietnam, opened in 1070, so like around 1200 years ago. And it was opened by the uh, royal family and the emperor. Since now there's no longer like it's not, it's basically a museum. People just come here to take graduation photos. It's actually pretty nice. And uh, we're just roaming around getting a tour from our tour guide. And uh, I think after this, we're probably gonna go grab some lunch because everyone a little bit hungry so we'll see but yeah this place looks super nice for this temple of literature is that there are plenty of courtyards. It's the tour guide Tom is taking us from one courtyard to another. This compound seems to be quite a big one and it's filled with students. They're doing their graduation, taking pictures. Not only students, there are tourists, tour groups. So this place is quite busy. It is busy but then it's, it has a very peaceful vibe to it. this place very very peaceful even though there's a lot of people here it's a good place to come and just you know people watch Really good, like very healthy food. The lunch was great, really enjoyed it. Very healthy food. And I'm a vegetarian with fish, so great relief from too much protein. So really happy. Now I think we're gonna go and uh, check in at the hotel, so let's go do that.
Towards the end, we got really tired and the guide showed us some of the important buildings around Hanoi Old Quarter. Tomorrow is going to be a big day because the day starts at 7 a.m. and we are traveling more than 100 kilometers south to enjoy the countryside. We are going to visit Nimbin, which is the Halong Bay of Land. So please subscribe to get notified when the second episode gets live. Till then, take care. And thank you for watching the video.